Hello and welcome! The first week of the Grand Naval Battles event has concluded. The results are in, the winners have been picked, but this match is a runner-up match for the Battleship Highest Experience. I thought this was a good contender for the best match as well, but sadly it didn't quite uh, match up to some of the other ones that were submitted. Anyways, um, the second week is going on, I am running a replay contest uh, for the best game in a tier 5 ship or below during the Grand Naval Battles event. If you want to know more, then click on the link in the description of the video, which should take you to the forum thread. Anyways, uh, I also run a guide contest where you submit a guide for each of the ship classes, and I will pick the best guide and, you know, the best guide gets some extra diamonds. Anyways, moving on to this match. Here our hero is uh, Gabi20. Uh, this was submitted for the highest experience match in a Montana. Unfortunately, he was beaten out by another Montana. Uh, this match is on the map Islands of Ice. The interesting thing about this match, and why I will want to show it to you guys, is because of how short it ends up being, and still how ridiculously much this uh, Montana player does in it. Uh, remem remember, I will have the link to the actual replay of this match in the description of the video as well. So anyways, um, it's domination mode, so he has this weird spawn in a battleship that is between A and B. So what does he do? He obviously goes aggressive because, you know, sitting back in a battleship, well, that's just boring. The first target he really seems to want to go for is that Iowa. But uh, he keeps checking forwards just to make sure that there's there isn't anything... Uh, Dangerous coming suddenly from there and This Iowa seems like a really good target because she already has taken quite a bit of damage She only has like 30,000 HP. Oh, and the Baltimore swapped up popped up But our hero is still not switching targets He takes a look at it, but this Iowa just appears and uh, seems like a really good shot actually So first salvo of the game and it takes out the 38,000 HP, Iowa, in the first salvo. And that's how you get first blood. Yes, it's almost four minutes into the game, but that was his first shot because he didn't have a better target. Okay, so the Baltimore is going behind an island, so he is not really a viable target at the current moment. But this North Carolina... Mm, he would be if he wasn't sailing away, so... The target is switched to the Baltimore, and let's try a good shot here. Okay, um, hopefully this iceberg doesn't ca catch them. That's probably why uh, Gabi is hesitating to fire. Suddenly torpedoes, so... Salvo... was very good. But he still takes one of the torpedoes, which is unfortunate. But that was a 20,000 damage Salvo on the Baltimore without a Citadel hit. That was quite a shot. Uh, so now the plan probably is to try to finish off this ball. Oh my god, the Baltimore ran aground. Wow, this guy is dead. <laughs> wow, bye Baltimore. You kind of deserve it too. Very good. If that had been me, then uh, the Baltimore would have been still left alive with a thousand HP. Okay, now there's a North Carolina around and a rune and a Kagero straight ahead. So... The question is, who do you focus on? The Kagero is probably the highest threat here, although the North Carolina could be quite dangerous as well because you are showing broadside to her. So Gabi decides to go for the North Carolina instead of focusing on the Kagero and just try to dodge the torpedoes of the Kagero. Because taking out the North Carolina is a bit more important considering, you know... Oh wait, wait, is that North Carolina firing HE? Well, in that case, uh, it might not be the best target. But uh, Gabi managed to juke out the first salvo of torpedoes of this uh, Kagero. And to be fair, I think in hindsight, he probably would have wanted to, uh, you know, shoot this Kagero instead. That way, it wouldn't have been a question of whether the Kagero could get the second, sal second torpedo tube off. But luckily, his guns were reloaded in time and... Uh, Kagero went to the bottom of the sea. This North Carolina is still around, who for some in inexplicable reason is firing HE, which I don't understand quite. 
But I think that North Carolina's life is not long for this world, considering how little HP she has, and that she is sailing full broadside onto a Montana. And goodbye, North Carolina. You deserve that one, because, you know, sailing broadside to a battleship, that's a paddling. Okay, and, uh, uh, the, remember he started his fight set like, um, 3 minutes 20 seconds in, now 6 minutes and uh, 50 seconds in, he already has 4 kills. This is, this is an amazing result. Too bad his team is too good for this to be the best result in the match. I bet if his team had been much worse, as in uh, they wouldn't win so quickly, uh, he probably would have even got the highest experience result. Okay, so a rune is coming around the island, so obviously gonna uh, overpen him a little bit. L I like that one. Confirmed Did you see? It 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 played the over penetration sound, but it still got the citadel hit so somehow. Well, Gubby here is uh, luckier than I often am. And the rune took a torpedo as well. And uh, will she take another one? That would be pretty good. Although, actually, no, that would be horrible. This will take Kraken away from our hero. And it did. That kills. That kills stealing Kagara. What's your name? Yogi. Oh, sorry, it's gearing. Oh, my bad. Wait, that makes it even worse. You kill stealing gearing, you. <sighs> okay, whatever. Uh, next target. Uh, it's a Montana. Who actually has a lot more HP than uh, Gabi does, so... Let's hope for the best. I noticed, I feel like Gabi aims a bit higher than I do. Maybe that's a good idea. Wow! Wow! Okay, um... I guess he did get his Kraken unleashed. That was a 41,000 damage salvo on the enemy Montana. That's a really nice one. And, um... Next one's the North Carolina, I guess. If the game permits it, because this game might suddenly end. Surprisingly, the enemy has uh, most of their TD still left, but none of the other ships. By the way, if you're wondering why uh, all their good results were in the Montana, that's because I had like only a handful of battleship results that were actually submitted, and uh, the highest ones were the Montanas. There was one Yamato that was also pretty high, and. Uh, a bunch of weird Congos, but I guess, you know, I don't mind. Anyways, um, come on North Carolina, stop trying to dodge. You know you want to just jump in front of his guns. And nope, game ended. What a nice and swift victory for uh, our hero, Gubby. He made 500,000 credits, 13,000 experience, although I imagine that has something to do with some multipliers. He got Fireproof, Dreadnought, Confederate, First Blood, Kraken Unleashed, I think multiple Devastating Strikes even, then High Caliber. He killed 5 ships, 7 Citadels only, even though he got this amazing of a result. And in terms of experience, he made 2900 base experience, which is really good, but you know, I imagine a lot of... Um, the experience was taken by his team because it was a rather swift game, so there was no sur survivor who would eventually have like a ton of experience that they would get. And in terms of damage, it wasn't all that surprise, all that uh, massively impressive either. This is like 177k. But the impressive part is the fact that this match only lasted for nine minutes and 23 seconds. 170,000 damage in 9 minutes and 23 seconds. And if you actually saw the match, you saw that um, the start of the match, he was sailing empty for minutes. So uh, this was a rather amazing match, and this is why I wanted to show this runner-up match. While he didn't get the uh, win by experience, I thought this was a great one, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and thanks for watching.